130 pieces of Russian armored vehicles destroyed in just one week. Russian troops keep storming the Vuladar front but suffer heavy losses, particularly in armoured vehicles. The Defence Forces of Ukraine destroyed 130 pieces of Russian vehicles last week alone. Colonel Oleksiy Dmitraskivsky, spokesman for the Joint Press Office of the Defence Forces of, of the Tavria Front, in a comment to Ukrainska Pravda told about it. The Russian army lost quite a lot of armoured vehicles on the Vuladar front within the two weeks of the so-called major offensive. Last week alone, 130 pieces of armoured vehicles were destroyed, including 36 tanks. This is a battalion. Regarding the previously posted photos and videos of the destruction of a column of military equipment in this area, Dmitry Skivsky ex explained that there were days when Russian forces had been losing 15 to 20 pieces of equipment. Separately, he praised the work of Ukrainian rocket forces and artillery units, which carry out powerful attacks on the invaders' positions every day. Last week, a unit of Payan self-propelled artillery was put out of action, with one piece completely destroyed and four beyond repair. Russian invaders are suffering significant losses. The 155th Marine Brigade of the Russian Pacific Fleet has been almost completely destroyed. Its survivors have rioted, in part because of bullying and extortion. In particular, money is being collected from Russian soldiers to help their fallen comrades, although it is worth noting that most of those killed are simply left on the battlefield, the colonel emphasized. At the same time, as Dmitry Shkizky states, Ukrasaliznistya, Ukrainian Railways, has allocated 20 refrigerated trucks to deliver the bodies of dead occupiers to the border with Russia. According to Dmitry Skivsky, Russian invaders use the so-called Zukov's tactic near Vuleda, i.e. attacking in waves when a platoon of up to 30 people with the support of armored vehicles is sent forward in a head-on attack through terrain and consequently are killed. The colonel also noted that a large number of Russian soldiers had surrendered into Ukrainian captivity, in particular Wagnerites and Marines on the 40th and 155th Brigades of Russia. As the prisoners of war say, the training and preparedness of the personnel were not taken into account when manning their units. For example, the 155th Marine Brigade consists of ordinary sailors, there are also many AIDS-infected people and drug addicts among the Wagnerites.